all right so in this video of salesforce bytes we'll talk about how can you configure or control field level access or field level security via profiles right so here i'm logged in as the system administrator let's go to settings and let's take a look at the users i have right so let's go to users And this is the list of users I have, right? Out of which I have one user which is assigned the profile custom sales profile, it's test user one. And I have logged in as the test user one on a separate browser right now. And this is how things look like for the test user one. So if I were to go to the accounts object and click on the new button to create an account, I see all these fields here, right? Now let's, let's assume that we don't want the custom sales profile guys to be able to see the SIC code field on the account object. How do we configure that on the profile level? Let's take a look. So I'll go back to the system admin view and I'll go to the object manager, right? There are two ways to go about it. Let's go through the object way and then we'll go through the profile route, right? So I'll go to the object manager and I'll go to account and I'll go to fields and relationships. Now, what is the field in concern? It is SIC code, right? So I'll just type in SIC code here and I'll just open this field. So when I open a specific field, I get an option that says set field level security. Now this is exactly what we are trying to configure. We want to hide this field for the custom sales profile, right? Let's click on this button. And when we do, we get a grid that tells us which profile has visibility to this field. And right now, if we take a look, almost everyone except for the minimum access profile has, has access. What we want to do is we want to find out where is the custom sales profile, this right here and make this field invisible or rather not visible right i'll just uncheck this box and click on save now what this will do is this will hide the sic code field from the layouts for the custom sales profile guys right if i go back to my test user one screen and try to refresh the sic code field will not be available anymore as you can see it's it's gone right so that's the first way how you can configure field level security through profiles for different users right now let's take the other route that we can take let me just go back and click on set field level security and let's or else let's just say we want this field back we want the set the sic code on our layouts for the test user one right so how do we make it visible again the first way to do it would be by this button and we could just make it visible here or we could go to our setup and go to profiles right so we'll go to profiles and we'll open our relevant prof profile what is our profile it is the custom sales profile right let's open the custom sales profile this right here and once once the profile opens let's do a command find and let's type in field level security right and when i do a field hyphen level i see that there is standard field level security available for the standard objects and if you have custom objects you would have custom field level security available here and there is this view button on each of the objects now what is our object in concern it is account right so we click on view and this opens up the entire field level security of all the fields present on account for this particular profile. Now what I can do is I can click on the edit button and mark the field SIC code visible. So if you notice it is set as invisible because we set it on the field level, right? It's basically the same thing. It's just that there are two ways to, you know, uh, uh, do, do the same configuration. Now let's take a look at what are the two options. The first option is read access and the second option is edit access. Now what we want to do is we want to make the field editable for the customer sa custom sales profile. So let's click on the SIC code ed uh, edit option and this will automatically enable the read option, right? So once this is enabled, we can click on save and our field level security has been configured. Now if I go back and refresh my screen, I should be seeing SIC code coming back again. So I see the SIC code, right? So that's how you can configure field level security via profiles for different objects in concern. Right. Thank you.